Hi there and welcome to the first of the CAP plan recordings that we've prepared in conjunction with Young Enterprise Scotland. The purpose of these recordings are to help support you in preparing your financial report for this year's Young Enterprise programme. Before we start though, let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name's Graham and I'm a tutor for CAP plan in the Glasgow Centre. I'm a qualified accountant with experience of many, many different industries, so hopefully I can use this to help you in your own enterprise report. I've worked in banking, hospitality, sports and accountancy practice, just to name a few. I am here to help, so if you do have any queries while you're running your enterprise, then please, please feel free to drop me an email. You should see my email on screen now. It's graham.brown at capland.co.uk. As I said, any queries at all with your report, I'm more than happy to help. And I'll be keen to find out more about each of your own enterprises. Just to give you a little bit of an insight into Capland. Capland are a global provider of education and training. We teach thousands of students across the globe in professional accountancy qualifications, financial markets and we also deal quite heavily with apprenticeships in and around the UK. So if you want to find out more about the company then please please feel free to check out our website at www.capland.co.uk. The reason we've partnered with YES is in order to provide you with assistance in preparing your report for your business and to ensure you're clear on what you need to do. We've split the recordings into short bite-sized sessions and this is going to allow you to refer back to them as and when you need to. This means you can use them as a tool to help you collate your reports and assist in the running of your business. However, don't forget if you have any queries on any of the sessions or even if there's something that we've not covered in these recordings, that you feel might be helpful then please feel free to get in touch with us via the details at the end of the recording and I'll be happy to help and answer any questions that you may have. Before we get into a report though we need to firstly be clear on what is a company and why they exist. So a company is a type of organisation and an arrangement for the controlled performance of collected goals. Now what this means is it's a vehicle for a group of people to come together towards a common goal, which is quite often to make a profit, as is in your case with Young Enterprise Scotland. However, some other examples of companies will make you see that the common goal isn't always profit. For example, Oxfam or Shelter, who are charities, will have a common goal to help as many people as possible through raising donations in order to do this. As you can see, this differs slightly from a company like Tesco who will want to make as much profit as possible to benefit their shareholders. However though, regardless of the goal, they are still a company and a group of people working towards their common goal. When running a company, it's really important to note that the company is responsible in its own way for everything it does and its own finances. It's important to make sure the company finances are completely separate from the personal finances of all those involved. In fact, in the eyes of the law, a company has its own distinct separate legal identity, which is totally separate to you, the owners or the shareholders. When setting up your company, you're going to be selling shares to help raise funds for the company. These shares will be sold for money which will allow the capital or funds to help buy materials and let you use your goods to make profits. That is to say the capital will enable you to trade on a day-to-day -day basis and hopefully realise a profit for your company. The shareholders or members as they're otherwise known are the people who run the company. So on the photo there, they're the people on the left. The people who run or manage the company on a day-to-day -day basis on behalf of the shareholders are the directors, the people on the right. These directors are elected by the shareholders. 
These directors often have experience or a keen interest in a particular area which will benefit the business. Finance, marketing, production, just as some examples there. By having directors with different skills, the company allows them to work together towards that common goal, which in our case we've already established is making a profit. So that's what your board will do. I mentioned the word board there. When we refer to directors collectively as a group, then we talk about the board of directors. So let's have a look now in more detail about the roles and how they should act. So we've established the board of the people who run the company. What else do we need to consider about our board? Well, as you can see, there are a number of different roles in the company. For your company, we need to think about each role and create an organisational structure similar to the one on screen. Your structure will look something like this and you'll need to think about who does each of the roles. One thing to think about is the skills required for each of the role. For example, is there one of you who are very, very good with numbers, who's very analytical and trustworthy? That sounds like the type of person who you'd want to be your finance director. On the other hand, do you have a team member who's very outgoing and good at communicating? Then they might want to be in charge of the sales side of the business. It's really important to remember one thing though when creating your board. The board runs the company for the shareholders. So they're the people that are going to help make these profits. Is the board you have the best that you can have to drive your sales, increase your profits and create a re reliable reporting system? If so, then you will be on the right track for creating a successful business. Finally, let's have a look at who is affected by our company. And by this, I mean stakeholders. No, not this guy. Stakeholders are any person or group that are affected by the actions taken by our company. While running the company, we need to think of our impact in these people or groups and not just the shareholders. So this can be the general public, it can be our suppliers, it can be our customers, or in your case, someone who's got an interest in your enterprise, Young Enterprise Scotland. We need to think about how we will affect the wider community and those around our business. Will we harm the environment as part of our business? What will be our impact on those outside of the company? For example, does the way we make our products have an impact on the environment? Are our products safe for use? And something our customers might want to know, are we charging them a fair price? So what you can see there is we can't just consider the amount of profit we can make. There's a lot more to this business. So it's not just that common goal that we need to think about. So hopefully I've explained a little on how we can help you and given you an insight into the company that you're about to create. Just remember the key points from what you've just watched though. A company is an opportunity for people to come together for a common goal. We need to make sure we select the right people for our board roles. And finally, we need to think about our impact on our stakeholders and the wider community around us. So now we've looked at a little bit about what a company is and how we can help you. In the recordings following this, we're going to start to look at collating your financial information and creating the records that you're going to need that are going to be accurate and fit for purpose. So this is going to include recording our sales and purchases from our business. We're going to have to think about how we deal with VAT and other tax. We're going to have to thinking, get thinking about our banking and how we handle our cash safely. We're going to need to think about any stock that we've got from any materials that we've purchased or any products that we've got. And finally, once we've looked at all these areas, we're going to have to think about putting all this information together and putting it into your final report. 
So hopefully this recording has been helpful and given you a little insight into how we can help you and a little bit more information on the company that you're creating. As I mentioned, if you do have any queries, then please, please feel free to get in touch. You'll see my contact details on screen again. Um, you can get me by email or if you prefer to talk in person, then please, please feel free to give me a phone. And again, if you want to find out any more about Catplan, then you can check out our website at www.catplan.co.uk. So I'll speak to you at the next recording and again, hopefully hear from you if you have any queries. Thanks very much.